Dr. Serge, you're saying, you're saying hello? Good, good, good. Good, good. Looking good there. So, Sangri Grandi Hospital, um, it's a particular area that I enjoyed uh, and I speak about a lot in my of my career achievements. Oh, the um, neonatal unit. Yeah, neonatal unit. Uh, you had to go there as a specialist to act in the public service. Uh, no one wanted to go there because it was a district hospital. There was a lot of work uh, with little opportunities at that time. But I actually used it to sort of catapult my career. I worked really hard. I was alone. I showed what you could do in the public service. I am Dr. Adish Seju Singh, and I am the 2023 Laureate for Public and Civic Contributions. All right, good morning, everyone. Morning, morning. How are you all going? So what I did was walk the floor. I led by example. I worked in my teams, but they always saw me around interacting with all levels of staff, especially. I treated my staff first and foremost, as well as my patients with this dignity and respect. She's doing well, and she? His nice demeanor and attitude in the hospital was actually very infectious. And you know, so you found that it was an excellent working environment because he was always so friendly, cheerful, he never passed anybody straight. You know, it's, it's one of those really great working environments to be in. I lived in this small village and they kept calling me Young Doc at an early age. So at some point it, it imprinted on me that I was going to be the first doctor in the family, in my immediate family, in the village actually. My dad would always ask him, what you did in tests? And he would always do this. And from there, you would know something is in the making. Persons don't believe this story, but I used to actually have to look after the goat, go to my primary school, come back home, ensure the goat was well fed, had water, and go back to school. So we, along the way, we had duties, it, you know, morals, ethics, we, we had a true sense of responsibility to the community. During my internship, I initially had an inclination towards the field of pediatrics, but unfortunately it was quite difficult as a doctor dealing with these sick kids on a daily basis. So the backup plan was obstetrics and gynecology. I eventually became a full specialist in the year 1997, and it became very rewarding um, continuing the profession. So is that like a team approach? It's a team approach. On almost a monthly basis, there was a maternal death in Trinidad and Tobago. 10 to 12 mothers were dying. Despite all of the good things we're doing, all the resources we were putting in place, all of these trained professionals, something had to change. So I was appointed in the role of Director of Women's Health in the year 2017. With the success in maternal and neonatal mortality is his vision and his direction. At that time, hemorrhage was the number one cause of maternal deaths in Trinidad and Tobago and worldwide. And I put things on, on the ground by training, especially resources, new medications. We did drills. We filmed these drills, I got feedback, and in just a short time, we were able to prevent every single case of maternal mortality. Equipment came in, workshops, and eventually, of course, we started seeing a reduction in postpartum hemorrhage. So, you know, just as simple as that, and it sounds simple, but it's a lot of work. In the Caribbean, Trinidad and Tobago was noted as not performing well in the area of maternal and newborn health. And now for the first time, actually just this year, the World Health Organization recognized Trinidad and Tobago as one of the best performers in the region of the entire Pan-American Health Organization region. Everything we do goes back to the patients. That's the values I, I wish them to take uh, for those are the, who work in the Ministry of Health. There are a lot of people in the village who would always talk highly of him. Oi, Kiran, the dog helped me get cataract. The dog helped me get this. 
the doc helped me get that. And you would not know if he has helped anyone because that to me is part of him. He's been running free services in the, in the community as well. Um, and you know, even when I had my own personal disaster, you know, in that 2018 flood, the first person that showed up, water didn't even recede yet. He was in my driveway, boots in hand, and you know, just ready to help. You know, and that's the that's the person that he is. I reached a point in my life where, of course, the most important thing is imparting knowledge to others, um, paying it forward always. But uh, my biggest achievement remains my family, uh, my children. I, I look forward to a day when they can step into my shoes, walk forward and help others as well. He is a Caribbean man. He is, I think, one of the few persons I think is known throughout the Caribbean for the strides he's made in obstetrics and gynecology and maternal and neonatal care. Getting this award is a very important in terms of not just for me, but it validates the work I think we have been doing in the public sector. Um, we are far too often, we, we only hear the negatives. Um, we get one comment that's negative and a hundred positives, but the hundred positives don't report it. So with this award, uh, my entire team, teams over the years actually have, you know, they've been calling me and they say congratulations to me. And I, I tell them, no, this is our award. It's a celebration of all of the work we did together. <laughs>